As mentioned earlier, you don't have to memorize all of the amino acids in their side chains to do very, very well on the MCAT. However, there are four that have unique qualities that you should be able to recognize and at least understand how the side chains of these amino acids influence the structure of proteins. The first one is glycine, which has a side chain of just a hydrogen. It's the only amino acid that is not chiral because of the fact that there are hydrogens on both sides of this. So it's a symmetrical amino acid in a way. And uh, that's the only one that doesn't necessarily have an L rotation of plane polarized light. Proline is interesting because it has a ring-shaped side chain, and this can often put kinks in the secondary or tertiary structure due to the fact that this doesn't interact in a linear chain the way a lot of other amino acids do. Methionine, just know that one because it is the start codon. It's usually where RNA transcription begins, and so methionine is one you'll encounter a lot as you're synthesizing proteins. And cysteine is an interesting one because it has this thiol group, the SH, and the SH enables it to form disulfide linkages. One cysteine on one side of the protein chain and one on the other can join their sulfurs together. And that can be a very strong anchor point that really helps establish the tertiary structure of that protein. The disulfide bridge, as they call it, is something that you'll be encountering a lot when you examine the larger level structures of proteins. These are the four amino acids that it's worthwhile to be aware of and to understand the unique qual qualities of these that uh, makes them distinct.